In this video I'm going to show you three simple drum techniques that I learned over the past weeks from recreating multiple drums from Max Martin and Dr. Luke. We also put all these drums into one pack called Dr. Drums, there's a link for in the description below and we're currently running an intro deal so you can grab it for 25% off. So let's start with technique number one, high and low drums. In a lot of pop songs you can hear that claps and snares always sound a little different when they hit. Sometimes it's really obvious like in Roar where it's clearly two different snares. But sometimes it's also a little bit more subtle, like in Last Friday Night. This is an easy trick to make your drums less static and keep the listener's attention. Here is how you can replicate this effect. Have a main snare that is always playing. Add a variation on every second and fourth hit. You can either do this with processing or by adding different layers. I have an automation that adds a gated reverb on every second snare hit and additional layers that play every fourth snare hit. Before it sounded static and boring, but now it sounds a lot more alive. The high and low drum trick is also used with claps in a lot of songs. For this one you need two samples that almost sound the same. But if they are exactly the same, they sound too static. In Dr. Drums you can find a bunch of clap pairs that have high and low variations, so you can create some cool and interesting clap grooves. Technique number two is a key ingredient for big drums. Most of their songs always have these massive kicks in the choruses. To achieve this, you simply need a tight kick that can be used throughout the entire song and then layer that with an acoustic kick in the chorus. Becky G's Shower, for example, just has a tight knocking 808 in the beginning. But in the chorus, it's layered with a wide acoustic kick, which makes it sound a lot bigger. Lastly, we're coming to technique number three, which is a trick to make your drums smash super hard. For this one, we're going to take all of our drums and route them to a send channel. On this channel, we're going to distort the drums heavily and cut out some of the low end. Let's bring the level all the way down and gently mix it in until we like it. To prevent any phase issues, let's render the distorted drums to audio and pitch them up by a few semitones. This is without the distorted drums and this is with. You can hear the drums smash a lot harder now. So I hope you guys enjoyed these three drum production techniques today. You're going to see a demo now of all the drums we recreated for Dr. Drums. Get the pack now, it's 25% off and we'll see each other in the next video.